vectors. So this particular question, you've got a triangle like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then there and let's see, like that, all right? Labeling as far as the question goes, is this D, P, and Q. All right. What they've said is that P is the midpoint of FD. All right. So P is midpoint of FD. And Q is similarly midpoint of of DE. So all that means is that this ratio of each side is one to one. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense? All right. And then they're saying F to D is vector A, that, and F to E is vector B, like that. All right? Yeah. Okay. We want to prove that PQ, so from there to there, is parallel to FE. All right? That's the statement we want to prove. Now, when two vectors are parallel, what do we know about them? Same multiple. One is a multiple of the other. Yeah. Right? And we can say that in two different ways. If two vectors are parallel, one must be a multiple. of the other. All right? Another statement, just for other questions, in case you ever need it, is that the two vectors must have the same ratio of components, i.e. A and B. All right? So, for example, I'll just show you what that means. Let's say A plus 2B is parallel to, um, call it 3A plus 6B, mm -hmm. all right? Because the ratio is 1 to 2, 1 to 2, all right? And oh, that's, okay. that's parallel also, for example, to half A plus B, etc. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. All of these have the A's and B's in the same ratio. Therefore, they must be in the same direction and therefore be parallel. Yeah. All right? Okay. Now we're going to go about proving that statement there. All right? We know that FE is just the vector B. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we want PQ. Okay? So, P to Q. Look at this element here. Right? We want to go there, and then there. That's one way of doing it. All right? Okay. So if I expand this, P to D plus D to Q. All right? Yeah. D to Q, we can see, is half of D to E. All right? Yeah. So, P to D plus half D to E. All right. Now, on the side, we're going to work out what D to E is. D to E is going to be going round. And I'm going to use, uh, let's find another color to do this in. No idea. Let's find uh, yeah. that one there. Okay. I'll try this. 
So we want D to F and then F to E. All right? Mm -hmm. That's going to be D to E. D to F is A, but in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah? So in here, we're going to put in minus A. All right? And then from F to E is just the vector B. Okay. All right. So plus B. Does that all make sense so far? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to go back to this now. And then in the meantime, P to D, we can see is half of the vector A, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be half A plus half times d to e, which is minus a plus b. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So you got half a, this one, right? I'm going to erase that, actually. Notice that's minus half a yeah. plus half b. Tidy that all up. And what do you end up with? Half B. Half B. Which is, effectively, half of F to E. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, therefore, PQ is half of F E. So, one is a multiple of the other. And in this case, multiple is either half this way or two that way. Whichever way you look at it. All right? Mm -hmm. And, therefore, they are parallel. Therefore, okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. You're very welcome. All right.